I'm Russell, and this is Voice Over Work, an audiobook sampler. Where do you listen? Welcome to summer, everybody. Today is the summer solstice, June 21st, 2022. It's a Tuesday. Patrick King describes his new book, How to Talk to Anyone, as a unique read. It provides guidance for every social situation you'll come across. You'll find 100% actionable, nuanced, and subtle tactics to salvage your worst situations and enhance your best, all field-tested and proven through thousands of conversations. This book is newly available on audible.com and amazon.com, and here's the preview of Patrick King's book, How to Talk to Anyone. Everyone wants to be more charismatic. Everyone wants others to think they're charming and likable. But have you ever stopped to think about what these words actually mean? What makes one person totally magnetic and attractive while another person bores or irritates us? By the end of this book, you may find yourself with some very different answers to these questions than when you started. In the chapters that follow, We'll look at the key principles behind better conversations, intelligent empathy, and social awareness, so you can start to have more engaging and more connected interactions with anyone, whether that's professionally, romantically, or with friends. We'll see that the biggest roadblock to being a fascinating and likable person is, in fact, a misunderstanding of what charm actually is. Even if you don't feel like you're currently a great conversationalist, and even if you loathe small talk and consider yourself an introvert, rest assured that it is possible to become more charismatic, and anyone can do it. Let's dive in. Mirror Me Have you ever noticed how a mother and her newborn baby communicate? They stare intently at each other. And whatever expression or noise the baby makes, the mother mimics it, amplifies it even, and the baby watches enraptured. What you're watching is a primal and ancient form of communication that we all develop as babies and which our species developed in its earliest history. Many people tend to think of conversation as a verbal thing, but deep, true social connection actually starts way before a word has been spoken. Mirroring is a big part of this. The idea is that humans, being social animals, evolved certain abilities to monitor one another and adjust themselves accordingly in social situations. This helps us feel heard, seen, understood, and more firmly part of the group. We mirror whenever we match another person's verbal or nonverbal communication. This could be mimicking their posture or body language, using the same words, inflection, or volume of speech that they use, or adopting similar facial expressions to align with theirs. Most of us do this so automatically that we don't have to be told why we're doing it. But what we're usually trying to communicate is the simple message, I see you, I understand, we're on the same page. Rather than mirroring being an optional trick, It's really the foundation of all good communication and empathy. Consider what it feels like when people don't mirror. For example, you're feeling upset and vulnerable. Meanwhile, the person you're talking to is responding flippantly. Their voice louder than yours, their tone more relaxed, and their body language more energetic and restless. You probably wouldn't feel like they were listening, right? Or... Imagine you're excitedly sharing some happy news and the other person doesn't reflect that excitement in their facial expression, voice, or words. Sure, you know they don't feel the same excitement as you do, but you'd register their unwillingness to mirror as a definite lack of courtesy. Thanks for joining me in this episode of Voice Over Work an audiobook sampler. Where do you listen? Remember, you can join our author's email list at bit.ly slash pkconsulting. 
or find out more about Newton Media Group at newtonmg.com. Thanks for listening. See you in a few days with a chapter-by-chapter preview of this book.